Hi, this is Sean G. Vavarunsky, and I'm an applications engineer for Go Engineer. So for those of you who are using SolidX MVD and using the Dimension Expert tools to add on your dimensions or your GD&T onto your physical part files, like we see here in this model, uh, I want to go over what the color schemes that you'll start noticing that will appear on the part file. So I have my part that's defined with all the information that I want to have on there. And I'm just going to show you um, what my current tolerance status is within this part file. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click on show tolerance status. And as I click on that, you're going to notice that there are some colors that are now showing up on my part. Now these colors are here to represent how much information I've put onto my part level. We call them constraints. You can imagine these as somewhere on the sketch level with underdefined, fully defined, and overdefined. Uh, here though, it's a different coloring scheme when it's on the physical part level. So anything in green is gonna be fully constrained, means we've provided enough information to locate the position as well as the size of it. Anywhere that's yellow is going to be under constraint. And that just means that we're just missing a couple pieces of information. Usually a location dimension or even a size dimension would fix this. So we can go ahead and add on one more piece of information there. But anywhere you see that's red, it's going to be over constrained. It just means that we have too much information that's displayed there. And what's causing this one to be red right here is just this 25 dimension call out because we already have that information here on the bottom with the 20 here and the five here. And I can go to right view so you can see that a little bit better on there. Now, anywhere that you don't see any one of these three colors, the green, yellow, or red, this just means that I haven't applied any information onto that specific feature on this part level. Now, another place to notice the control constraints on our part file for SOLIDWORKS MVD. We can see this over here on the DIM Expert Manager, and we can see all of the different features that we have DIM Expert dimensions applied to. Now, anything that's in black is going to show up as fully constrained, much like the fully defined color that we see on a sketch level. Anything that's in blue with this minus symbol, it's going to mean that it's under constrained, much similar to under defined on the sketch level. And anything in red with this plus symbol is going to be over constrained. So it's over defined, much like it is on the part level. So these are just several different locations and things to understand for the colors that we're going to notice here on Dim Expert. Now, if you're colorblind, or if you want to have a different color scheme to show up here on the model as you're applying your tolerance status, um, we can always change that by going into the system options. Under system options, we're going to go to colors. And we're going to filter through and look for DIM Expert dimensions. And you can see DIM Expert under constrained, fully constrained, and over constrained. And you can edit those by clicking on this Edit button and choosing any color that you like. Now, you don't have to have fully constrained dimensions on every feature on your parts as long as you've provided enough PMI so the part can be manufactured. If you are using Tall Analyst, though, you will need to make sure that the faces used in the Tall Analyst have a fully constrained dimensions on them before you can run Tall Analyst. So this is John Giovanni Fabrinsky, and I hope you enjoyed this video on understanding the colors that will populate when adding dimension experts in SolidWorks MVD. Mm -hmm.